Guys, what are we looking at today? Well, we're gonna look at something pretty, pretty crazy. This is that Tucson TS394. Uh, you can see it on the table in front of you. It is not a little knife by any long stretch of the imagination. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this makes case for itself to be a folding combat knife. So, that's unusual. So let's, let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. Guys, I know we talked about it in the intro, but that is a combat folding knife. Um, <laughs> this thing is insane. And I'm gonna tell you, I love everything about it. This is a knife that I honestly can say I don't think I'd be able to carry, except in hoodie weather where I have the kangaroo pocket pouch in front. This is the TS. Sorry, let me turn it around for you. This is the TS-394 Wong designed by Tucson Knives. Now this is insane and over the top nuts and I really, really like it. Um, so what are we looking at here? We are looking at what is equivalent to a folding combat knife. Now I'd like to say it's first day in pocket, but it doesn't have a pocket clip. So it's been in increasingly difficult to figure out how I'm going to carry and use this thing. Like I said, I'm wearing a sweatshirt so I can have my pocket. But as always, as we do here, because it's just how we do, we're going to do some size comparisons. So your first knife's going to be the nine and a half inch overall Spyderco police model, which that's a big knife and it's still not as big as this Tucson. Uh, so your next knife is going to be Another relatively large knife, the Beg Letter XL, which is just at nine inches overall. So there you go, there's the Beg Letter XL. And then as always, your final knife for comparison is going to be the Chris Reeves Sabenza Large 21, which is just tiny compared to this. And the, the Large 21 is not a small knife. It's not a big knife, but it's just about average size. So let's get this out of the way and let's talk about the fun stuff that I found out about this first day. So now I have honestly had this large, large knife in my front pocket of my sweatshirt all day today. Um, it's currently about one in the afternoon uh, on this Friday afternoon. And it's, this thing's pretty awesome and surprising in a lot of ways. First of all, the action on it is amazing and you just want to play with it. It's, it is absolutely, for as if I can get it up there, big and bulky, it's it's absolutely drop shut. The thumb studs they work great for deployment. You got a big forward finger choil, and on top of everything else, so far as I've noticed today, this cuts really well because it's got a very good transition down to a relatively thin behind the edge, um, th thin behind the edge profile. You got a fuller on it that you can use as a flipper and a flipper. Now, like I said, you can't put this in your pocket. Now, typically I would not be a very big fan of this very heavily textured G10 frag pattern or checker pattern on it like this with the heavy big checkers. But the fact you don't have a pocket clip takes that out of the mix. And I love it because you guys know I like to complain about pocket clips. There is no loss of ergos due to a pocket clip on this. Nice backspacer with, as I love, a chance for you to use a lanyard but not f up the the lines of the knife now this isn't like an elegant knife or anything but i will tell you i'm gonna try and find a picture of it this reminds me of the knife that arnold schwarzenegger used in the final fight in the movie commando so i'll drop that here on top so you guys can see what i'm talking about and it has those same lines because it has that big choil it's got the combat style blade and in hand, I'm not going to try to lie to you guys. This is one of the more comfortable knives in hand I've had for a while, mainly because I'm a guy with big hands. Big hands, you wind up with this larger knives fitting your hand much better um, in this capacity. And there's no jimping. So there's no fake jimping on it. And then you've got this big skull crusher cap on it here huge flipper tab on it and like i said it's just it is just awesome how much fun this is now i will say that this is this has got some downsides to it it definitely does 
So we've talked about good stuff. Like I said, this is just first day. I don't know how I can actually carry this in day to day. If I go anywhere, I can't, I can't have this. I can't have this in public. People will flip the F out. Um, but man, that action is amazing on such a big knife. Um, so there is a good bit of weight reduction done on this. You can see in here, lots of weight reduction on that. So when I look up the specs on this knife, we'll have a little bit better, but I'm gonna say this is pretty fun so far. So let's flip this around and talk about the things that I have noticed today in this first day in pockets. I say first day in pockets, technically, I guess you can say that because like I said, it's riding in the front pocket of my sweatshirt. Um, first of all, the size of this thing is just prohibitive for a lot of things that anyone would want to do. Um, that's first and foremost. The next thing is the action on this thing is great and I've already rectified the issue, but I will say lockup was good on this when I put it in my, when I started messing around with it earlier and I was flipping it and playing with it and I noticed it got a good bit of blade play and I had to take the scale off and tighten the pivot. Now that's not a big deal and it did not look like there was any Loctite on it. So the lack of Loctite meant that I had to take the knife apart tighten the pivot, put some Loctite on it. So if you're going to get this knife, uh, which I don't know price or anything on, you know, you guys know I do blind reviews. I have no idea what the price or any of the specs are on this. I would absolutely invest in some Loctite stick. And first point of business is take the scale off and tie and, and Loctite the pivot because that that is a big heavy blade. Even though it's ground really thin, that's still a big chunk of steel, a lot of weight, and it just worked that pivot loose. Next thing is, it's not gonna be easy for, for carry. Uh, you'd have to have a belt sheath for this in most cases, and the fact that it doesn't have a pocket clip means you can't just throw it. I mean, you could throw it in your pocket, but that's a big knife. You're gonna drop it in, it's gonna wind up getting sideways. It's probably gonna be uncomfortable. That is a lot of stuff in your pocket, and then it looks like you're carrying an adult toy. Um, and then one of the only other things I can say about it is the weight distribution is a little weird. It's got a lot, not just weight distribution, blade to handle ratio and weight distribution are a little weird. There is one more thing after that. Blade to handle ratio is weird. Big handle, smaller blade. I would like to see it more one for one, but it is cool looking. Uh, weight distribution, like I said, is just about here at your balance point. I would like to see it a little more forward, especially in something big like this where I might decide I'm going to do some chopping. And then the final thing is I don't like when the hole for the detent ball is fully exposed like that. Um, I mean, it's easy to clean out if stuff gets in it. But then again, the more it's exposed, the more stuff can get in it, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, other than that, I mean, it's been a lot of fun so far. It is kind of one of those over the top things that I did not expect to see show up. And when it did, I was, I was pretty happy. So that's pretty much all I've got on this one. We'll turn this around, we'll do some final thoughts and we'll talk about it on our way out a little bit more. So, so, so like I said, this is nuts. It's an insane over the top knife and I love everything about it. This is what makes the knife world fun. Every once in a while, someone steps outside of the norm and says, you know what, we're gonna do it anyway. Cold Steel used to do it all the time. Two Sons has done it with this. Well, Two Son, I should say. I I really like it. Uh, does it have a point of use? No, but I'm not nothing fancy. I don't have to have a POU or anything to enjoy something. It's just fun. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, I will tell you everyone, I, if you're watching a video for more than 30 seconds and you have not dropped a like on a video, it doesn't matter whether it's mine or another creator's, you are doing those creators you love a big disservice. Likes are the best thing you can do for a channel. It goes above 
paying the membership fees and things like that, it absolutely has an effect on how videos perform in the algorithm. So with that said, if you wanna support the channel, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do it, the bell icon makes you've got it set to all and turn notifications on on your device or you will not get notified of all the content that I'm working my way towards getting to. Even bought new software to improve the look of the videos. If you do want to support the channel financially, there's a handful of ways you can do it. There's a lot of ways, actually. I have a ton of affiliate links down below. All of them directly support the channel. Even if it's not the items you clicked on, if you have an item in a knife video that I did not put out a link to, go down, find one of the Amazon links, search it yourself, see if it comes up. I still get credit for that. Uh, there's also Blade HQ, and I have a couple that have discounts. Uh, Coffee Brand Coffee, 5% off your overall order and Atlas VPN through the holidays, 85% off a two-year subscription. Um, there are other ways. I have a membership down below where you can get in on tier-based benefits. Everyone has access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. Baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series I've built for them over here on YouTube, or over there, over here on YouTube behind the paywall. The final way is I do have a merchandise store over on Amber Shirt Co where I've built a coupon code to save you 10% on not just my merchandise, but other creators' merchandise as well. That coupon code is crazy sharp, capital C, capital S, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. Guys, that's it on this one. This is gonna be a lot of fun to see how it pans out. So I love you all. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.